and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our next meme tier Monday deck. We got a smooth Lulu Z deck. This is going to be a Lulu Z almost all Ionia aggro deck that is splashing bilge water for smooth soloist. So you may think, okay, well, why would we want to spend seven mana for a three, four elusive with the plunder, um, you know, reduce the cost of allies in your hand and deck by two? We don't, you know, like these are all like pretty cheap things anyway. Reduce the cost by two by that point in the game. Why would, why would we want to do that? Well, the reason why is because if we reduce them all by two, then our, our champions that usually cost three, like Lulu and Zed, they would cost one mana. And if they cost one mana, then Kinku Wayfinder hits the Allegiance and can summon two one man one cost allies from your deck. So you can have, if we use the Smooth Solos, we can have our Kinku Wayfinder put a Zed and a Lulu into play, <laughs> which could be pretty awesome. We do have a couple of other things that would cost one at, at that point. Also, we have like Green Glade Elder and Shadow Assassin. Both good things to summon, right? Because summon, you get that ability, the plus one, plus ones. Summon, you get to draw a card. So still all awesome as well but you know we could put our champions into play with wayfinder that could be really cool you know we could even put two lulus or two zeds you never know could be any of those so that's kind of what we have uh we have um a bunch of uh just kind of like curve out support um elusives all that kind of stuff buff a little bit with green blade elder um yeah it just looks like a an interesting almost all ionia deck to play all right, so let's give it a try. This was a viewer submitted deck that looks really cool. We're gonna go play our five games in normal because that's what we do on Meme Tier Monday. We just play them in normal because we got some some crazy decks. All right, Braum Vladimir, the hardest deck to beat in Legends of Runeterra, statistically speaking. It wins 99% of the time that I play against it. This looks like a pretty sweet curve. One, two, three, four. I don't really know what this Pix is going to do, but, you know, Pix is in our deck. I still think Pix should be like a 1-2 one, a one, or a 1-1. One, one, something like that. And maybe after I drew this Green Glade Elder, maybe I should have just waited on the picks and not even played it yet. At least we're not damaging their <laughs> their allies. You know, like how they have to have like the damage damage allies survive damage. Well we don't have to worry about doing that. All right, so normally I'm gonna just go with this elder. Normally we would go like Zed into Fey Guide, but I don't know. I want to go with this elder. Buff these things up. All right, so this looks like a troll chant to me. That seems pretty likely. Could be the deal one damage to everything. Okay, so it's gonna be transfusion. I wanted, I wanted, yeah, I didn't want them to be able to survive damage with the curator, basically. Oh, now we have Kinku Wayfinder. Put two one drops into play. We actually kind of have some difficult decisions. We're gonna go with the Zed. Because even if they do have a spell that kills the Zed, which isn't like super likely, but if they do, you know, like a troll chant, we have the backup Zed. I guess I'm just gonna have pick support Zed though. I guess that makes more sense than supporting Green Glade Duo. <laughs> Yeah, they haven't played the Scar Grounds yet. Fine. Fine. Okay. Pix plus Zed. Fire, no. Oh no! Ember Maiden? I haven't seen them play Ember Maiden before. Dude, I'm telling y'all, they always have whatever it's like the best card against me, they're gonna have it. <laughs> Uh Telling y'all, it doesn't matter what the card is. If it's the if it's the best card against me, they got it. Pledge yourself to the shadows. Like well, can't really play Green Glade Duo. I don't want to play the Wayfinder. 
Because the Wayfinder will have stuff die to this thing also. I found my family, my bloodkin. <laughs> Lulu. Hang on, Buzzball. Hey. All right, so my current one drops are Pix and Flower Child. We'll take what we want. The rest will burn. Keep your head down, okay? All right, so that's eight elusive right there. We still get to block that thing with. Let me lead. We go as one. I mean, this is all they have to do is just make this thing super big, overwhelm, kill me. This is us still likely losing from here, but our best draw. We have homecoming in the deck. That's our best draw right now. Is homecoming. That we can like bounce this, this thing back and put it in their hand. Homecoming. Oh, Flower Child, that's the worst draw. My glory. I've dressed for the occasion in red. Mm. Eyes open. Stop eating or no more walkies. Where did you get that? Be grateful I even noticed. So I guess, wait, if I would have, instead of playing the Fey Guide and making this elusive, if I would have played this Wayfinder, no, because they would have blocked both the Zed things, but then they would have taken, let's see, we would have hit this, it would have been one, two, three, four, yeah, I guess that would have been lethal, wouldn't have, yeah, it would have been lethal. Yeah, so I guess I, I went with the elusive on this thing, but if I if I would have gone the Wayfinder, we would have won this. Who would I was I was just you know I was too focused on that, um, but yeah, this is this is over now. Will be done. New. <laughs> Sorry. Right, because I think I think that would have been lethal. I think. Both Zed and the and Zen and uh, the other Zed both get blocked. The Wayfinder puts in four power, and then I think that would have made the Green Glade duo six. All right, Lucian is here. This is a deck we can beat. So yeah, I think I think I could have had that win. So we're going to Mulligan deny. I don't, Deny's, like, honestly not that bad, because they have, like, their different... We just, I just want more units for Greenglade Elder. But they have, like, the different, um, like, rally cards, and, like, Cataclysm, and um, even the card that makes Valor or Remembrance. They have a lot of targets, a lot of, like, slow speed spells. There's a kill in the air. Bring in the heat. All right, let's buff some stuff up. Bony hands strike hard. Good. Here we go. Traditions are lost if not passed on. Time to get rowdy. All right, so Flower Child's a 3-4. So we can block Lucian. So at 
least we killed Lucian. We taking a lot of damage. Duo is cool. <laughs> Buffing all these things up. Don't get in my way. That's pretty good. Of course, we don't really want to use the retreat anymore now, though. After buffing those things up. Uh, this deck never doesn't have its champions, as we talked about before. They just always have. I've never played against a deck that plays more champions than this Lucian Azir deck. Alright, Solution's about to level up. What do you say, Glow? That's yes! Your Emperor command, I have risen. And with me, Sharima. Alright, six. Have a plan. Shereman, see what I see. Carry it with you. Yeah. Emperor, I am I don't really have a plan. Zo Zoe, Aurelian Soul. We are playing against the very top of the metagame. We're in normal, right? I think we are. Like, we're playing a Lulu deck in normal with picks. How are we playing against, like, the most tier one of decks? <laughs> yeah, this is going to be difficult to win. I can't play the Young Witch, obviously, because they just have this Dragon Guard Lieutenant. Traditions are lost if not passed on. We wear red to honor the fallen. I still have some fire. Guard the walls. Don't really have. I know I'm not really saying anything. I just don't really have much to say against you know like this um, opponent's deck's a whole lot better than ours, and their hand's awesome. <laughs> it's, it's about it. They're not close to leveling up, Zoe. Hooray! Sleep death going good. The three one is not too slow. The three one is like the only thing to keeping us in this game. 
We just we don't have interaction. Prepare for battle. Homecoming draw. This is us attacking four a lot. Here they come. This is just lethal, right? That's just lethal. They're dead. They're dead. Green Glade Duo. I'm telling y'all, Green Glade Duo is not too slow. But we drew some interaction. We drew our homecomings. And there we go. They're dead. That was an awesome game right there. Oh, back to Lucian. Azir. Man, yeah, we are really playing against the top of the metagame. All right, so hopefully they don't have, you know, every single champion again. Uh, that's what I'm hoping. That card's got to be gone. We don't have any support. I think we'll just mulligan them all. But like I said before, deny can be pretty clutch. But yeah, they they also have, like, yeah, these little birds that are challengers on, on my small elusives. That's a problem. They got a lot of things that are a problem. Relentless Pursuit. Attacking your Lucian into my Lulu? What are you doing? Everybody knows Lulu's bigger. Okay. I want to go... Duo, duo. Mm. Double spelling would be nice, of course, but then that does make it. I mean, I guess my tracker trades with the Lulu anyway. It should probably just be the Green Glade Elder again. Traditions are lost if not on. And get that plus five, plus five. All right, keeps them from the scout attack. That's certainly what Shadow Assassin's been missing is being a 4-3. All right, hopefully no sharp sight. Cuz if they don't have sharp sight, they're kind of dead. Like D E D dead. Love that. That means they can only kill one thing. There we go. Big elusives. Green Glade Elder. Like I said the first time, Green Glade Elder again is an all-star. Oh, Brom Swain? Okay, I can't ever beat Brom Vladimir, so Brom Swain. We'll see if we can beat that deck. Hand looks just fine. 
Elder Homecoming Zed, definitely keeping all those. Considering mulliganing Lulu for cheaper card. This is the one that I could see mulliganing. Get a one drop or two drop, help us spam out our hand a little faster. I think so. Yeah. That's good. Tales of our past proceeds for our future. Big elusives. I still have some fire. Oh, they played that afterwards. I should have just passed. Had them waste their three mana. Considering, like, I'm really considering just homecoming the ravine. And then I can homecoming the ravine and then replay elder and buff these things up again. Seems like three health seems pretty important. I guess. Why not just bounce the tavern keeper? Let the ravine just do nothing. We have to bounce one of their things. I would I prefer just to keep it in play, of course, but we had to bounce one of them. So not let them replay that. Traditions are lost and not passed on. We feast tonight, Varg. Meh. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. We're going to have some big elusive attacks, like next turn. Let's move. Yeah, think about, like, without Greenglade Elder, you know, Blighted Ravine, Ice Shard. Think of, like, we were just, like, playing, like, these normal two drops, like, on Curve and everything. Like, how dead we would be to these Blighted Ravines and Ice Shards and everything. Greenglade Elder, like, if, if we win this, it's going to be strictly because of that card. Pretty sure this is safe. Without a sound. Makes both of these five power, makes it kinda of tough for Braum to challenge. My shield is my sword. Ha! This is fun, yes. The Yordle here is with Keeping deny mana up. In case of like, I don't know. Avalanche or something. Like that. Alright, so seven. Doesn't really help them. They'll never see us coming. This way. Shadows cut deep as any weapon. Might as well give this thing quick attack. <laughs> it doesn't really mean anything to give anything else quick attack. Tear them apart. Right, I guess the plus one plus one could have mattered. That they're still dead. Really? They're targeting the Zed? Like, this is like 12 damage right here? They target the Zed? That's what we're doing? Alright, that's a victory. Alright, so that's a 3-2, a fast 3-2 there for, for uh, the Smooth Lulu Zed. We didn't get to do too much cool stuff with Smooth Soloist because the games were just kind of too fast. But obviously with those games, like we really should have been a four and one, right? Like I, we had like that one turn where we had lethal if I played Wayfinder, but I played too fast. I played the Fae Guide instead to give Zed elusive. But if I would have just played Wayfinder, we would have gone wide enough to um, have lethal. So that was a big mistake by me. But uh, besides that, so, you know, really could have been four one here. And we played against good decks. We played against Lucian Azir twice. We played against Zoe Aurelian Soul. That deck is is really good. We played against Braum Vladimir, the hardest deck for me to possibly beat ever. 
And then also that Braum Swain deck was insane against Ionia. Like, just look at the cards they had. They had, like, Blighter Ravine, Ice Shard, Ice Shard, Avalanche, right? Like, they're just playing all those things. And we're trying to win with Young Witch and Green Glade duos, right? Like, those cards never, like, you know, like, these cards never, like, just three ones, one ones, two ones. Like, they never beat a bunch of Ice Shards and Avalanches and all that kind of stuff. But we did. Do you know why? And how we won basically every game, how we really could have got, really how we should have won all four games was Green Glade Elder. Wow, this card was incredible. What an all-star. And it it showed off, especially those last few games, I showed the power of just don't play things. Don't play your two drop. Don't play your one drop. Wait, play your Green Glade Elder. Retreat was incredible for us as well. Also, Re Retreat was amazing especially like the especially with green glade elder where green glade elder buffed up our one through three drops so then we could return like twice we killed lucian attacking because then we just put in like a four four lulu or we put in like a, a two four or like a three four flower child right like we just surprise put in like really big things because of green glade elder for surprise blocks that was retreat return basically that's what we learned here retreat return plus green glade elder was incredible this combo and yeah we just play elder on three Buff up the stuff in our hand, you know, put it back into our hand, bounce it back with like retreat or homecoming, replay it, buff those things up again, and just kind of, you know, bide your time and then turn five, turn six, turn seven. Those turns, you just unload a bunch of elusives that are now huge thanks to Greenglade Elder, and suddenly your opponent is dead and they're like, wait, what happened? I'm, I'm dead. And that was awesome. That was, that was really good. Yeah, Greenglade Elder was the key for sure. So that, that was really, really cool. So yeah, Smooth Soloist didn't, you know, didn't even get to that part, even though that was supposed to be like our janky combo with like Kinku Wayfinder Smooth Soloist, but we really found the, the best combo of Green Glade Elder plus Retreat, you know, or Homecoming. Homecoming was also awesome with the Green Glade Elder. So very impressed with all that. So there we go. Very good deck here with the Smooth Lulu Zed. Should have been 4-1, uh, which it was, but you know, I made a mistake. Still 3-2 against awesome decks with just all Ionia. That was cool. Yeah, we didn't play, we didn't even play a Bilgewater card in, in these games. Only played Ionia cards. Alright, so anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. What how how impressed were you with Green Glade Elder? Were you impressed as impressed as I was? Um, yeah, let me know over there in the comment section. What else you want to see next week on Meme Tier Monday? You know, like what what have we been missing? What kind of meme tier decks do y'all want to see? Leave those comments. Um, or, you know, anything cool that you've been playing, you know, feel free to leave those comments. All right, but anyway, that's it here for Smooth Lulu Z. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.